Hi, fishy folks, and happy Water Change Wednesday to you. Today, we're gonna talk about a new toy in the fish room, a gadget, a doohickey, a doodad, if you will. This is a non-contact temperature probe, which means it doesn't have to be touching whatever you want to check the temperature with. Uh, and I got it on Amazon. There will be a link in the description below. Yes, it's an affiliate link. Yes, I will be making at least 0.67 cents for every time you click and buy something. The trick, if you don't know about Amazon affiliate links is, you actually have to buy something. Just because you click on it doesn't mean I get anything. So. If you want to help out Michael's Fish Room, click on my link and then do all your Christmas shopping. And then I might make like three or four bucks. And that, you know, would help me get some beard lube or something. Anyway, this is a non-contact temperature probe from Etik City. I don't know how to pronounce it, but that's what it says. Etik City. Anywho, uh, there's a little laser, which I found out yesterday when checking. If you watch Chewy, he's like a little cat chasing the laser no i didn't i didn't i didn't stay down here for like 15 minutes yesterday seeing how far he would go and checking if han and leia would do it or even bettas bettas i mean it's really fun but this this doohickey this probe if you will um i'm using it to check temperatures in tanks i'm getting distracted because Chewie's having fun. And I'm trying to do it backwards because I'm looking at it like in the camera. But uh, yeah, anywho, so here's what I'm gonna do. I'm going to uh, check some different tanks, try to film it so you can see it. And then we're gonna talk about uh, some of the issues I'm having uh, with my new heater. So grab a beverage and a snack, tell me what it is. You know I like to know. And uh, be right back, all right? So stand by. Are you standing by? Are you sitting? What are you eating? I want to know! Alright, fishy folks. We're uh, pretty much at the end of the fish room just before the magic curtain. And uh, the heater is way down there. So this is the coolest part of the fish room uh, is what I'm getting at. So let's check this tank. So here's what it looks like. Boop. 79 degrees. And then as we go closer... 80 degrees and then one more tank closer boop 80 degrees it, just so you guys know it doesn't really make that noise I'm making the boop noise I know and if we go to the top row we can see boop 82 so a little more than two degrees warmer on the top row as we get closer to these are all about the same temp boop Okay, now, then we have the bottom row, folks, which probably should be a little cooler. Boop, 77. Boop, 73. I don't think that's 73. It can't be 73. I'm going to have to double check that. That just doesn't seem right. Hold on. Let me check. Yeah, that's, that's a little cold. I'm thinking it's about 74, actually, not 73. So that's interesting. Anyway, let's check some tanks closer. All right, so we're on the, we're about six tanks from the curtain. And this one says 79, and this one says 77, and this 10 gallon says 77. Now let's go up a little bit. All right, 86, that's about nine degrees warmer. That water looks really low. I'm wondering if I'm missing a auto water change hose for that tank. Anywho, that's not why we're here, folks. We're here to talk about temperature. Up here, can't see it. 87, 87. You know why you can't see it? Well, I set this light, light off for filming, so don't look at the light. There, that's better. So up here, 87 now if you look at the heater it's actually not it's just the pilot that's on right now I don't know if you can see it right there that's the pilot when it goes on I'll make it a little warmer so it comes on that's what it looks like when it's on 
it's actually pretty in the dark. I, I, I want to come down here with a little glass of wine and some candles and some music and just FaceTime with my buddy Scott. All right, that's a little creepy. Yeah, I turn it down. I'm still playing with the overall temperature in the fish room. Speaking of which, let's take a look. Hi, Chewy. So right now it says 87, eight, sorry, 84.7 degrees. And if we check right beneath it, 83.3. So we're off a little bit. 83.3. Let's see what that plastic says. No. 83.3. Someone do the math. One point, one and a half degrees. Now, the uh, the thing to note with temperature in fish, unless you have super super sensitive fish, where you know if it's there's they like to live at 80 and they go to 81, then they die. Um, which I don't know of any fish that's like that. But uh, it's important to know if you have temperature swings. Not so much the overall temperature. There's Chewy. All right, I'm, I'm playing again. Now here's my problem, fishy folks. Here's my uh, lemon pleco, not lemon pleco, yeah. Lemon blue eye pleco tank, 86. And then the, uh, the bed next to him, 86. And this bed at 86. Now this temperature is a little warm, I think, for plecos. Um, in fact, when I first turned the heater on, I had a little bit of loss in this tank and I added an air stone and I lowered the temperature. But I gotta get the air circulating is, is my, my thought. So I gotta get a fan and I think I have to put, mount it somewhere above the heater to blow air. I also think I need an oscillating fan. Here's another issue which I really don't want to address. See the rafters? 94. 94, 103, there's a lot of heat going up there. I really don't want to have to take things off the ceiling and shove um, insulation up there. So I don't think I'm gonna do that. The other option is to get that silver foam board and uh, like take lights and pipes and stuff out of the way and then mount it. Again, I, I don't think I'm gonna do that. That's just too much work for me for this particular project. There's some baby plecos up there, and that tank is, what, 88? <coughs> so, here's the deal, folks. I think I need a fan, an oscillating fan, to blow the air, the warm air, that way. The other option would be to blow cool air this way, which I don't think is gonna be as effective. So I think I have to get a fan. I think I have to mount it up on the wall. It has to be oscillating. For those of you that don't know oscillating, it's one of those fans that does this. Yeah, I like my sound effects. I had a guy comment, uh, hey, you should stop the sound effects. It really makes the video suck. I like sound effects, so I don't care. Anyway, so I gotta get a fan. I think I have to get a fan. Also, I never realized how crooked that airline was. And I don't know why it's, oh, I know why it's so crooked because I cut it too big and I don't want to cut it shorter and make it too short because I was in a hurry. That looks awful. I might have to fix that one day, not. So, back to my dilemma. I want to heat the tanks obviously more um, consistent. What are the tanks down here? 74, 78. See, I like the 78, 79. That's fine, that one's 75. 73. Yeah, I think, I think what I wanna do is get a fan, have it oscillating, and maybe even have it facing down. I was talking to my buddy Rich from Rich's Fishes. He's got a couple different fans in his fish room. Uh, the issue with his fish room is it's jacked up because it's like weird shaped. Not that this is the perfect shape for a fresher, but it's a little bit easier to maintain. All right, folks, that's it for my dilemma. Uh, quick little peek for Fry Fry Friday. I do have Medusa Guppy Fry. See you guys later.
Hi fishy folks and happy water change Wednesday. Today guys, a new gadget in the fish room that we're gonna have some fun with. This is a non-contact temperature probe by Etika City, Etik City, I should have practiced this. Try that. <coughs> Hi, fishy folks, and happy water change Wednesday. Today, folks, folks, why do I have to say folks so much? 